Clash. Alright, what's going on guys? Sun Devil Drake here for a match of Destiny 2. We're coming to Distant Shore for a bout of Clash. This is my first episode of Destiny after I've uh, been on my week-long hiatus. But that is done. I am back. And the schedule should be basically to normal from now on. <clears throat> With the exception of this week, it's... Oh shit. <laughs> With the exception of this week being uh, Tuesday through Sunday. You know, my parents were in town for 10 days, and so while they were here, I didn't want to record, um, you know, while, while you know, trying to hang out with them and, you know, entertain my parents and all that good stuff. So I took the week off. But my parents just left on Sunday, and so I didn't have any time to record that day either. Which means I'm recording right now on Monday, and this episode will be released Tuesday. So for this week, it will be a Tuesday through Sunday week instead of uh, Monday through Saturday. But next week we'll be back to normal. It'll be Monday through Saturday, and it should be like that, you know, through Thanksgiving and up until Christmas. Uh, around Christmas time, I will be going out of town for a week. Although I probably will be able to still post for that week, but nothing is for sure yet. You know, that's that's all a ways away still. But definitely for a while things will be back to normal. Keeping it going with uh, you know the four episodes per game per week. Although Battlefront 2 is coming out in what two weeks? Two weeks from now. So definitely expect that to start hitting the the channel soon as well. But all right, let's focus on this. Um, I am using my hunter again. Haven't used my hunter in PvP for a little while. Been, you know, focusing on my Titan, you know, just using him to add a little variety to the games. Oh, I didn't get him. If I had snapped to him first instead of the guy on the left, I would have definitely gotten that kill. It was very close. But at this point, I do have three characters over 300. My, my Hunter is maxed out at 305. My Titan maxes at 304, though I'm running at 303 right now. Not like it matters for the Crucible, but just for the gear I've got, that's what he's, that's what he's at. And then my Warlock is uh, sitting pretty at 300. You're in the lead. I'm still working on, you know, my my Titan and my Warlock, but uh, you'll be seeing my Warlock soon. Honestly, I'm not Five good with her minutes. in PvP yet. I don't fight. do well with her classes, and I don't like the guns really that I have equipped on her at the moment. I could obviously just send weapons from my other uh, characters onto her, but for some reason in my brain I don't like doing that for the most part like I only like to switch weapons for for the raid otherwise I try to make use of what I have otherwise without having duplicates because I always dismantle any duplicate I have or infuse it obviously damn there you go take him out Woo, that was close. Alright, where's this guy? But it's definitely good to be back on my hunter. I almost feel weak on my hunter now compared to my Titan. Come on, finish him off, thank you. Because hunters definitely aren't favored <laughs> in this game. I know I could be great with my warlock, but I just haven't put the time in there yet. But I always enjoy coming and playing on my hunter. So if you haven't figured it out already, I am using Nameless Midnight on my hunter right now, along with uh, the number. Oh, Jesus Christ! Damn it. 
hiding up above. That was sneaky. There we go. Took him out. Three minutes remaining. But I've always been a fan of the number. Uriel's is great. Don't get me wrong. I love using Uriel's. That's why he's on. That's why that gun is on my Titan. But at the same time, uh, if you compare it to the number, personally, I like the number better. Because essentially they're the same weapon. You know, they're pretty damn similar. Not a whole lot of differences between the two. But what is notable is that uh, spend all Uriel's that has the one extra place. stability on the initial trigger pull, which is great and very nice and very useful. But uh, the number does more damage at the end of the magazine, which can definitely make a difference in firefights like this. So as long as your aim doesn't suck and you're able to snap targets decently well, I think the number is uh, your better bet. Good. Show your enemy what a real fight. Double down. Boom. Oh man, he's gonna get away. Lost my heavy, but looks like there's some right here waiting left. for me. If you want it, you can take it, buddy. Go ahead. I'm not worried about it. Got a sword, and I'm sure he's rocking. Yep, a rocket launcher. Two for one. Oh, one sweet. final push, and that. victory is yours. Pick up those assists, sure. Thirty seconds. Fire team that fights together stays together. Ten seconds. Get Victory out of here. Is all I ask. Beauty. Good. Actually hit the uh, score limit before the time went out. Remind me to bring you along the next time I feel like brawling. I don't think I topped the charts here. I'm pretty sure I'm at the bottom. Oh, I got second. I was definitely hanging out towards the bottom for most of that. Wound up uh, getting second there in the end. 17 with 1.7 efficiency. I'll take it. And, I mean, we did have... I honestly didn't even notice right there. I'm going to double check. Let's see if someone else joined on the enemy team. No, it looks like they were just three strong the whole time. So, I mean, they were at a disadvantage. It was four on three, but honestly, it entirely depends on who you play with. Sometimes being a three-man versus four can be an advantage if the four are careless and the three are careful, you know? Because then the three just have more targets, can actually really work in, in the uh, lesser-numbered team's favor at times. Though, typically not. Typically, you know, more numbers is better. Um... Still, whatever, I'll take the win. But I did want to mention, because uh, the, the us hitting the score limit reminded me that there was a patch last week. Um, you know, I didn't talk about it, obviously, because I, I wasn't recording last week, but there was a big change to a lot of the scoring in the uh, Crucible modes. Um, I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, so I won't try and you know, just remember them and give off random information. But definitely, if you're interested, go look it up and see. I'm pretty sure it was posted in uh, This Week at Bungie. You know, you can get that right on the Destiny app. Um, but essentially, it makes scoring easier in many game modes and and uh, lowers the score limit. So, like Clash, I'm pretty sure the, the limit used to be either 70 or 100. And now it's 50. So, you can actually hit that score limit before the time runs out. 
Same with Supremacy. Supremacy has a higher score limit. I think it went from 50 to 70, but you get a point for every elimination and then another point for picking up a crest. So it definitely makes those games a little bit more faster paced and you can hit the score limits instead of just going to time like you always do you know, prior to that patch. Because, I mean, every match that you played, for the most part, was pretty much going to time. And it's kind of a bummer. But now they have it so that it's a little bit easier to hit that score limit, as well as they, uh, they tweaked the mercy rules so that it should kick in a little bit sooner for those matches that you're just getting stomped or doing the stomping, either way. Um, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there, a little bit extra info. Um, but as for that match, it was a good win. Happy with it. Let's go ahead and dismantle this scout rifle. I don't need that. But that's it for this episode, guys. Um, like I said, this week we're doing Tuesday through Sunday, and then next week we'll be right back on track with the Monday through Saturday schedule. So appreciate you uh, sticking with it. But that's it for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'm Sun Double Dreyak, signing out.